G'day everyone, just going for a, a walk here in the snowy mountains. Anyway, I just wanted to do a, um, a full detail update on what's happening with the Gary the Goat political party. Now, as I said in a lot of videos, if you, fa look, if you, if you don't like the politics and we get in, just don't vote for us. And if you don't like the way I'm selling shit to fucking keep this whole thing going, don't buy it. And if you don't like me comedy, don't watch the videos. And uh, if you really fucking hate me, just unsubscribe, man. It's pretty fucking simple. And, um, yeah, I just want to apologise to all the people who've been... I haven't got enough time to reply to all the people writing nice notes into me, let alone the people who are just fucking wanting me to get into a... You know, responding to a lot of people is just fucking... Who are just saying nasty stuff, which I don't get much of. Because, um, you know, it's fucking... They're talking to a goat. Um... Basically, if you respond to them, you just end up um, having a shit fight with a fuckwit whose main way of getting attention is being a cunt. So, uh, it's just a waste of time. Anyway, for all those people who are not into this, just, just go away. And for those who are, fucking strap yourself in. I'm going to tell you a fucking yarn. Anyway, I'm sucking it in here going up the hill. Um, so, yeah, I'm puffing a bit. The political party. Basically, all this started off, um, I suppose, about a few years ago when Gary was starting to hit off. And this is after years. My background before Gary hit off was all through my 30s. I basically travelled around Australia by myself, doing what I do now, doing dick jokes in pubs. But I didn't. Ha I didn't have a goat. I didn't have any filming thing. I didn't have a family. It was just fucking me. And um, I basically just love doing my comedy and I'd do anything to keep going at it, including just, just fucking minimising all my costs so I didn't have to fucking listen to all the people who go, why don't you fucking get a job like the rest of us, you can't. So I don't need one, man. So, you know, I didn't really drink. You know, I have one just to fucking make people comfortable. Um, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, and I've got no real fucking habits. I even, you know, as you know, just went around on free fuel on this veggie oil thing and camped out people's houses and basically just looked for gigs and a fuck, right? And, you know, had a pretty good time. And I realized I ended up becoming really healthy. Like I, I, um, I had a good life and for, you know, pretty well decade, I was living on an income which was below the taxable income. So I was legally not paying tax, but also I qualified for benefits, but I just wasn't into it. I just didn't see the reason. I didn't want to get addicted to it. It just didn't make sense to me. And as I go around, I see, you know, lots of people in different situations. But if they're complaining about money, my first thought was, okay, I don't mind you having a fucking beer, a smoke, or fucking pizzas, or whatever you're fucking into, and all your toys, but you fucking don't complain about being poor. You've got room to fucking move. And I pushed the bottom line of this to the point where I've... I somehow got over to England to try comedy and, you know, you know, on the open mic circuit in 09 and I had a few people, places to stay at, but it was generally fucking stay here if you listen to my shit until four in the morning while I snort coke in front of you and, you know, show you all the hookers I fuck, which became a bit fucking tiresome. So I ended up finding a doorway and I, and, um, I, I slept out in Queensgate, just around the corner from the Hilton on the red line if you're in London. Um, next to what was then a sort of beauty salon. There were three doors there and I fucking slept in one of them for a good six months, you know, winter, and became good at it. I fucked sleeping bags and, um, you know, I walked everywhere to gigs and I just ate really basic food, um, it, you know, for, for about fucking eight pound and just a bit of rice and fucking a bit of fruit and drunk water, drunk my own piss so I wouldn't get sick and put all my fucking skills into practice and Never fucking hit off on the comedy circuit over there. Eventually got back to Australia and because I wanted to do these, I love doing these pub gigs where I can just fucking go for an hour and a half rather than just fucking try and impress someone with five minutes of material in a room where there's fucking three people and you know they're all comedians. So that led me eventually to you know a pretty fateful day in Western Australia where someone offered me a goat for a case of beer and you know I'm selling I fucked a goat shirts for fucking 10 years to try and supplement my income and uh, you know that people go mate that's never going to lead anywhere but it fucking led to Gary right 
And uh, at that stage, I thought, well, fuck. See if I can have a fucking goat in the car. This sounds like a fucking pain in the ass, you know what I mean? Anyway, it just surprised me. He didn't piss a shit in the car. And then within a few days, I was like, fuck, this guy's a good mate. And, um, uh, you know, and then fucking, I had him for two years. He was just a fucking, you know, he's awesome, right? You know that. And, uh, and then I started doing videos when I could afford a fucking video camera and it just went fucking nuts. And it's gone nuts, right, for a few years. And I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that I'm a comedian, you know, who's stuck at it for over, well over 20 years and I've, I've got a break, right? I don't know how long it'll last. These things fucking come and go, you know. So what I found was when Gary started going off that it was like, how the fuck... Do I earn an income from this? Like, I'm entertaining millions of people doing these videos, but the only way to get an income was doing gigs. Um, but it was like, the more gigs I do, the less videos I can get. I just want to chase the stories rather than going on, on a gig schedule and just be in pubs every night, um, you know, would wear both of us out. So, doing less gigs, I'm just going for the stories. Um, and the other way of earning income was all this fucking AdSense stuff and YouTube. It's not as big as fucking people think. I earned, what, 75,000 followers for the first year. I earned three grand. So it's, it's not fucking much money, man. Um, and then, you know, it's merchandise, selling shit. And I just could feel it just circling around me. It's like, why the fuck do I have to sell stuff? other people's businesses for me to earn an income in some kind of trickle down thing. Why can't, if I'm doing something that people want and unique, why can't I just get paid for that? And the market was basically saying no. So I experimented, as you guys know, was I cut out all the fucking income and I just said I'll rely on donations. And I realized after a year, it just doesn't fucking work, man. Not, not a level to fucking raise a family. And you know, I'm fucking raising my family. We had our first kid in India, the second one in Bali, and hung out in Thailand last time I was on, you know, with them. And so I'm not fucking, you know, I'm talking Australian fucking costs either. So it's not realistic just to live off donations. There's no market mechanism for people uh, giving you money. And plus, you you, you know, you, you're kind of begging and you got people fucking going and get a fucking real job, you know. You know, and it's like, Fuck, you know, and you look at these people who fucking get a real job. It's like, man, I've got a fucking real job. I've got a full on job doing this. And my second job is trying to get an income. I hate my fucking second job. I'm fucking flat out. So when you say go and get a real job, you just, and you look into these people and they're just people on wages or fucking salaries who are fucking sitting in their bedroom drinking a bourbon, watching their big TV, thinking, fucking, uh, how come this cunt's fucking getting more attention than me? You know, so they, they, they hate the idea that you're actually doing a job you like and you're potentially earning money from it. So, you know, I, 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 rather than just put these guys down, I mean, you can't troll these guys. They're fucking, you can't troll them more than any, any more than they troll themselves. But, you know, we all, all got to deal with these cunts. But I ultimately don't want to put them down. I want to, I want to, I relate to what they're, they're saying in terms of a job you don't like because I've got that aspect of what I do. So, I go, well, fuck, rather than just fucking being another cunt who whinges about it and goes, I thought, fuck, I'll start a political party. And my political party is not left or right. My, my idea on socialism is fuck giving people money, give them free resources and or just allow them to be free, allow them to fucking, fucking camp wherever or grow their food and, and just fucking, um, you know, don't criminalise people who are really trying to live off the grid. So that's what I believe in, in terms of welfare. It's just fucking, I don't want it re people relying on money and just look into alternate, look after yourself instead of relying on a free health system, right? And, th and th that way you won't burden the health system. And, you know, you'll clear doctors up to fucking do research into non-preventable diseases and fucking accidents and shit like that, rather than just all this chronic shit that's clogging up the whole world at the moment. So... That's it for my, that's my, you know, views on socialism. Now, capitalism, I've never really been in a situation where I'm at fucking earning much money, but this Gary stuff brought it out, and I realised from the capitalist point of view, I'm just being other businesses bitches. Unless I can make them profitable, I can't fucking make a profit. And I thought, that's, that's the problem with capitalism now. The new businesses and stuff are fundamentally not getting 
uh, a run unless they cause a profit. So they could could be like give really good results, like you know, like I said, fucking fucking you know, free energy systems and all that. Unless the big fossil fuel companies fucking make a profit from these new renewable energies, you're not going to get it, and the banks don't put money into them. Blah blah blah. So I'm going all right. Let's just get to the core system. Core, let's get to the core issue, and to me, it's money creation. Now, you gotta. So, I said, we'll start a party where we start fucking printing our own money, Gary Bucks. Now, when you say I oh, print your own money, it brings up all these things of, oh, what happened to fucking Germany in between the walls, hyperinflation in Zimbabwe, and you're a fucking idiot, you're printing money. It's like, yeah, what happened with the GFC? Fucking the, all the central banks went, fuck let's print money and give them to all these fucking banks and whatever and prop up the fucking system so has hyperinflation happened no interest rates are fucking plummeting and deflation is happening is because it's because of the banking system which circles the central bank system where and when you think of banks think of a river bank a river bank isn't about water it's got it's not water but it directs water when money comes when water it directs water when money comes flowing through it like the darling river in flood season and that's what banks do it's not about money they just direct money so all this money which has been created is just ending up in all these derivative bubbles and housing stuff housing market and all this but the real economy is not really fucking growing right and then at the bottom you know, it's like socialism. Oh yeah, give them fucking ten bucks an hour more. It's like, well, fucking, how is that going to solve equality when the, at the top they're getting fucking millions more? Like, it's it's just getting worse. No matter how much you give fucking nurses and everyone a fucking pay rise, like, you should be trying to fucking loosen the rules so that you can fucking live with less money and fucking healthily and good. And I've fucking done it for years. It's it's viable, man. So I'm saying. Create our own money system, right? So basically what JFK got shot for. Create principal and interest-free money and put it into shit that's good. And so what you'll do is you'll just basically deflate the economy even further below interest rates of zero for lending. Now, the central bank system can't fucking handle that. That's like pouring water over the wicked witch. She'll fucking disappear and so will the central banking system. But the central bank is the only ones who miss out if interest rates for lending money go below zero especially with an economy based on producing free resources based on technology and will and if you think oh jimbo that doesn't fucking work you're living fucking some fucking hippie shit fucking look up the hay runners just google hay runners in australia a whole lot of just one bloke who went fuck they're in drought in queensland i'm gonna fucking run some hay up for them and they've got an incredible system where you've got you've got fucking heaps and heaps of trucks going up there on I think it was a 12th hay run last time and it's all been driven simply by the will of people to work to do something to give the desire to give there's no money involved all the fucking rotary or whatever handles the money but it's being fueled by intent and will by people wanting to do good shit and there's no support from the government fucking you know our oh, fuel companies come in with 50 grand this year after a bit of pressure but fuck they're spending half a million bucks oh yeah they're spending 450,000 bucks on fuel and oh yeah we'll give you a 10 percent discount and get all this publicity but fucking being such a caring corporate fucking entity so i'm basically saying with this money system we can set it up so i'm, I'm getting people going well you got no idea but it's all personal tax so there's no fucking reason why i can't do it from them and you know there's no i, I can understand why you do an economics degree or anything they don't talk about the the fundamental basics of money creation i mean money creating is easy because it doesn't actually exist the whole ability to create money is based on your ability to fucking bomb kill ban criminalize anyone else who creates money so it's a fucking it's a big idea we're doing here and um i'm doing it because no one else is really standing out and just going that's going to be the centerpiece of their politics and i think it can attract people from the left and the right so i've set out this political party and you know i'm bearing in mind that fucking gary's got like fucking one in 35 people in australia have liked the page and about one percent in the uk he's got a bit of a following so i'm out in the streets telling people about this and the vibe I get is people under 40, most of them will fucking, a lot of them will vote for Gary without even a fucking policy, right? So 
I've got this situation where, okay, I can fucking make a bigger difference than, oh, yeah, hit this Gary thing off, and if, you know, maybe I'll make a whole lot of money, I'm just doing fucking videos of me and a Learjet with fucking heaps of chicks around me and fucking everything and, you know, just basically doing what Dan Bazillion does in America. And I thought, well, that's cool, but it's not really my thing. So I've gone ahead about, about last, previous election four years ago, I said I was going to do it, didn't quite get it together. And this election, I've been a bit late in doing it, pretty, very late in doing it, but I'm still fucking having a go. And I've been trying to get the Australian Electoral Commission forms in, which is a big deal. And I've had someone help me write the constitution, which is great, fucking a bloke in Queensland who was, just did it because he believed in what I was doing. But the signatures, I need 500 registered signatures from the Australian Electoral Roll, and I thought I'd just get 500 signatures, but it was a fucking big deal. You've got to flush it through this site um, to verify it. Most people don't put their middle names or the correct voting address, and so I've had about 5,000 signatures, but getting them down to 500 has been a big deal. So having a lot of trouble with that and just setting up stuff, and I was near Canberra, and I was writing about this. I was in Wagga and I was writing about this on the net and I got a, an email from some fans who said, fucking come over to Canberra and we'll fucking help you. We're, we work in corporate administration and, you know, I reckon we can help you get this over the line. So I've known these, I've known that, they, I've, and I've, the people writing to me, I've noticed their messages over the years, the last four years, where they write in really supportive stuff. Like it's, you know, it's like, oh yeah, buy shirts or fucking here's an article and, you know, deal with hecklers and just not, not your normal fucking, can you come over to my place fucking on June the 12th and pull cones with me? It's me fucking mate's fucking 30th. So, you know, well, I've got fucking free beer for you and grass. It's like people actually practically helping me in, in, in a realistic way. So... I've gone, okay, this is worth meeting up with him. And I thought it, it, it was Nick, Nick, N-I-C, N-I-C on the, on the um, Facebook thing. I thought it was maybe a young bloke. Ends up, get there, and it's about a 30-year-old Chinese girl. And her boyfriend, I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Um, you weren't who I expected, but fucking, they're bearing gifts, and they've sat down and just fucking great people. And I was about to go, and they said, no, 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 we live in that apartment. I'm like, fucking stay in your truck over there. There's an empty block, and... We'll come down and, and they, you know, they, they, they fed me over the next two weeks. They fucking sat me down. They said, we fucking love all your videos. We've seen fucking all of them at least five times. Um, like, I've done 500 videos. These were serious fans making quotes and everything and just fucking being lovely people. And we want to fucking help you, Jimbo. Anyway, pretty well, as soon as I met them, I, I, I couldn't get their email or their phone number. And I just basically said, look, you guys work for Asia, don't you? I mean, you're in Canberra. You work for a government department. You do, don't you? And they, they, pretty, they said yes. And, and I go, oh, that, I, you know, the obvious question first is, fuck you can't say after me. It's like, they go, no, 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 fuck, no, no, don't be silly. We're just fans who just fucking help you out. They're not after you, you know. Um, the only people of fucking Asia are really after just young Muslims who don't have a fucking internet footprint. You know, they're underage. And so I said, so I said this central bank stuff is, 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 is a threat to the system, but it, it's perfectly legal, right? I'm just, you know, to me, it's a bigger issue than terrorism, global warming and gay marriage, right? It's, it's a fucking fundamental thing, which can fucking fix all those things as well. So... They're basically going, no, 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 and, you know, if it was a big issue, fuck, you'd have people internally going, why, and people would look into it. So, you know, and they're talking about, you know, just, they're not really, I'm not, and they're basically saying, we can't give away any other person, much personal information. I'm thinking, fucking cool, I normally hook up with people who fucking want to help me, but it gets sidetracked into fucking their ex and their dog and fucking all this other stuff, and it, you know, it's like, fucking, I'm, I'm not after friends here, I'm after someone who can fucking do something, so when they go, we just want to fucking help you doing this form, I'm going, fucking beauty, so there's a lot of administration stuff, and get, I had to get it right, because if it doesn't go in, get accepted, it comes back, I said, I want to nail this, because the election's coming up, so I'm working on it, you know, for two weeks, and I'm getting pretty fucking tired doing these videos, and looking after Gary, and all this stuff, and I'm doing all my other stuff, trying to get an income from the shirts and fucking whatever. Um, and after about two weeks, I just said, fucking, the election's coming up soon. Can you guys fucking, 
can you get this over the line? I fucking really, you know, I, I don't think I can micromanage this anymore. Can we fucking do this? Like, I just want to, you know, can we get it? Can you just guys get it at the stage where I just have to sign whatever and lick the stamp and put it in? And they've gone, yeah, we might have to bring in a bit of help though. I said, yeah, yeah, fine. She, I said, they've got a friend who works for the Australian Electoral Commission or has experience with them, a friend called Chris. And it's like, oh, yeah, that, and they need they need to be paid. They'll go, yeah, that's cool. Like, you know, bearing in mind that Clive Palmer's party costs apparently 10 million bucks to set up, right? It's a fucking big deal. And so I'm going, I've got a few grand, so I've offered them a few grand for these signatures and also it was on 250 bucks a day for this person, thinking, oh yeah, if they put an eight hour day in, it's fucking worth it and I've got it and this is a big thing I'm trying to do. And it's it hopefully it's going to be finished next week. And then they've gone, my two um, friends have gone, friends have gone, uh, fucking we need to get paid as well so i go oh yeah fucking righto well what do you want and they go oh, 250 bucks a day as well and i'm going oh yeah okay well if we can get this in done soon i'm thinking yeah if you, you've got a job at asia or wherever you fucking work um and you know if you do one hour a day and over eight days 250 bucks anyway then over the next four or five days you know they started saying oh we probably need a credit card as well if we set this up i'm going fuck a credit card this fucking you know, no, I haven't got a credit card. Fucking, it's just me. I'm living in a fucking truck. And then they started talking about all the money from the electoral roll, which will come in if we get accepted and selling Gary for PM shirts. And I'm going, hang on a minute. This is not what it's a fucking about. I'm, I'm fucking trying to set up something to free people from debt slavery. And you're going on about this money. And you're not really into the central bank stuff. But fuck, you are an administrator. You're better than the people who fucking, oh, yeah, I'm right into it, but I'm fucking useless when it comes to filling in these forms. But I'm getting a bit fucking nervous. So, fuck, I'll just turn around. Um, so I basically said to them, fucking, can you stop what you're doing and tell me how much I owe you? And they're sort of going, oh, Jimbo, just keep going. And, you know, you know, fucking, you got to fucking keep pushing on and never give up. And I'm going, hang on, cats. I'm fucking paying you to do a job, not giving me an Anthony Robbins course. Fucking how much do I owe you? Anyway, they come back with another five grand and I've just sort of gone, fuck. What, so I've been paying 500 bucks a day, which is about a thousand pre-tax over the last five days. And this is fucking blowing out, man. It goes another four, five, no way. Can you stop it, man? I don't think we're gonna get this in before the election anyway. Um, Cause it takes a while. And then I've just basically said, guys, I've, I've given you three grand, that's enough to get my family out here, to fucking my girlfriend and a couple of kids and maybe get a van, it's a lot of fucking money, and now you're wanting five grand, and fucking I'm up all night, and I'm getting fucking tired and stressed and back and everything, like fuck, and they're just going, no, nah, give us the five grand, and I'm going, okay, I can understand this is a corporate rate and everything, and it's you're probably giving me value anyway, but I don't... I, what freaked me out is where did it go from we're a big fan of your work, we've got so much enjoyment out of watching all your 500 videos over the years to fucking give us the money, cunt. We don't care how fucking big in debt you are or fucking, you know, how fucked you are. Give us the money. And I'm going, oh, fuck. So I've had to take a bit of a fucking breather. And uh, I've gone, okay. Okay, well, fuck, these guys are playing hardball. Fucking whatever. I'm not in this to fucking get a friend. Let's just get down to business. So I've fucking done a ring around all my friends, worked out what I could hock and just fucking loans and fucking whatever. And I've said, okay, I'll, I've emailed them and said, I'll fucking give you the five grand. A nice email saying, look, I'm sorry, I just couldn't afford you. How about I come up to Canberra and I'll give you the five grand in person, in cash, the way you like it. And you hand over all the fucking documents. And they've gone, no, 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 we prefer you to put it into the bank account. You just keep, keep going with your videos, Jimbo, and vote goat and all this. It's like, fuck, this is, this is, you know, this is fucking dodgy. Like, and, and like I said, it's not about me losing the money or whatever. It's like I've lost all the information for this political party, which I've been putting so much work into. So I've gone, okay, I just got to find out who they are, right? It's just a simple matter of a small claims court. They've been really nice people. They've fucking probably earned their stuff and whatever, and their rates are high, but it's probably fair enough. 
but I just haven't been able to afford it. I just need to fucking get what they've done. I've given them three grand in work. Can you give it to me? And if you fucking want the rest of the money for the time you put in, I'll give you the eight grand. Give me the fucking work. But in order to take them to a small claims court, I need their name. And this is the tricky bit. It's a bit like, you know, why they herded all the Aborigines in the 50s and 60s from the desert. Because you can't put these... Uh, people under white law unless they've got a fucking name and a postal address and that's fundamentally why they did it and The same thing with these people Anyway, anyway, I rang up a, a private investigator and I said look mate I've been working with these people. They've been giving me a, a phone number and an email, but they also work for Asia So I'm not too sure whether this is enough information to find out who they are and he goes, no, or, or, and I've also got this bank account which I put money into, and he goes, no, nah, that's probably not enough. If they work for Asia, they can know how to mask that shit. Private investigators can't really go there. And I said, well, I know the apartment block where they live. And he said, well, okay, well, we might have to do a fucking stakeout or whatever. And it's like, oh, but, you know, it was just too much money for me. So I've then basically explained, look, uh, the political background as well. And... Um, He's basically, he's basically said, mate, if what you're saying is right, like you've got 1.6 million followers, uh, which is four times as much as the Liberal Party, which is probably twice as much as every single political party in Australia combined. If you've got that influence on social media and you're talking about fucking um, printing money, your own money, man, uh, Asia are going to be fucking on to you, man. You, you're going to be fucking... You, they won't, you won't have any idea though that they're onto you. You'll be fucking an actor in their Truman Show, except unlike the Truman Show, you'll fucking never find out that they're fucking all over you and controlling everything. And I've gone, well, uh, in retrospect, I think that's what's fucking happened. I, I never really thought these guys were fucking scammers of me because even if they were, they're fucking worth hard for three grand, man. It's, you may as well go and pack shells at Woolies to get more value out of these guys. It was just their transition from a friend to fucking hardcore give us the money. So he's basically, he's, and I, so I'm thinking, well, fucking, it is, I'm open to the idea that maybe it's a fucking ASIO sting on me, right? And he's, and he's sort of going, well, you yeah, know, it's a distinct possibility, mate. And I was just going, well, look, I don't really give a fuck because one, I can do this. I can set up this political party. Number two, I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not doing anything unconstitutional at all. And three, I'm a fucking hard cunt to fucking nail stuff on. I'm like, I'm like the fucking, um, despite my appearances, I'm like the opposite of fucking Bill Cosby. I do fucking really fucking rude jokes on the internet about fucking bestiality and everything. But fucking beyond that, my personal life, I'm just a fuck. I don't, I'm a pretty fucking straight guy, right? Fucking drugs, sex, fucking fraud. You can't get me on anything, right? So, you know, I don't really fucking give a fuck, right? And he's gone, mate, you know, that money you put into the bank account, fucking, do you know what a bank account it was? I go, oh, no, not really. He goes, well, how do you know it's not fucking Kitty Fiddler's Monthly from ISIS? And that's when I go, oh, fuck, I didn't think of that. Fuck, is that, was that what happens with politicians? It's not that they can get you, it's just they want something on you. Unless you've got something on you, we're not going to let you proceed, you know. So, I'm going, well, I don't know, but if that is the case, I'm getting straight on the net. The net's my only fucking defence. A whole lot of people knowing what the fuck I do, right? Because if someone's really going to fuck with me, they're doing it with me out in the fucking open. Like, so you're going to, you're going to fucking cause people who don't believe in anything I'm saying fucking maybe looking into it if some fucking shit happens to me. So I've just gone out in the net, and you might have seen the post before, but we're basically saying, look, this is the reason the political party's not going to be happening this term, and uh, I've made the mistake of putting some 3,000 bucks into this account. And uh, I didn't say anything about Asia or anything like that, so it's about a week or so later, I'm just putting up this one. And the reason I'm doing it is because I want to know who these people are. And now... I'm, I'm going to give you all the information below on who they are, right? That's the fucking phone number below. Actually, I've lost the phone number. That's the email. This is the address where they live. That's a big lead. They live in 17 Dorling Street, Braddon in Canberra, in the apartment block. And they're a young 30-year-old Chinese-Australian couple, I think. And... Um, 
I want to fucking know who they are, man. And so, if anyone out there wants to help, this should be fucking good. And I just want to stress this. This is really important. I don't want these people harassed. I don't want them hurt. Because I don't think they've done anything wrong. Apart from not giving me the fucking three grand in work. I, 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 I fucking... That you know, they've, they've got that I paid for, or, the, or you know, I'll put, give them the fucking eight grand in work, but that's all I want from them. It's nothing personal or anything, it's just a matter of get their legal name, take them to a small court, get the stuff off, and move on. That's it, right? So, I don't want anyone fucking doing anything fucking stupid, but I'm putting it out there to see who these guys are now. If these guys are just low-level fucking fraudsters who fucking know how to wear a suit and talk corporate and be nice and fucking cook a nice meal, fucking, you know, at least we'll fucking cross the fucking Asia thing off the list. But if they fucking aren't these, there's two scenarios here. Both of them involve them working for Asia. Now, the first one is which I pretty well took at face value. You're just a low-level ASIO person who's gone, fuck, I really, you know, I'm pretty isolated from everything and, you know, I just want some fucking cash job on the side. And it's like, well, if this is the case, ASIO needs to look into them, seriously, because they're a potential threat to national security. You can't have fucking ASIO people doing cash jobs on the side and, and just fucking having these people being able to extort information out of them. I mean, I wasn't... You know, the stuff they're telling me is like, what well, the interesting thing they said, the most interesting thing they said to me was when I was going on about the central banks, they said, well, interestingly enough, the Treasury Department is what's driving policy the most in Australian politics at the moment. They said this is a really small department connected to the fucking Reserve Bank, which is connected to Bank of England, which is connected to these central bankers who fucking are behind it. So, you know, like, anyone is fucking looked into this shit goes yeah no shit it's not fucking a big thing but there's potential there for national security to be seriously threatened by these guys so they just need to be counseled they mentioned about you know when you're working in asia you know your weak link might be porn or drugs or whatever and you get counseled and you continually monitor what you're weak linking what your weak link is and these two john is his name and nick nick their, their weak link to me is just fucking greed, man. It's not a criminal offence, but it's something that needs to be looked into. Counsel them, give them a fucking wage rise, whatever. Um, now, the other issue is, say they work for ASIO, but it's actually a sting from ASIO, which is fucking pretty realistic. I mean, you've got like a lot of people going, oh, you're into the fucking conspiracies, Jimbo, and everything. It's like... Mate, I'm not talking about, oh, guys, I've Googled Rothschilds and fucking you should look into the man moon landing as well. No, no, no. I'm talking about real shit that happens to me. So for you people, I'm giving you something here to look into. The main thing is to find out who these people are. And if they're, like I say, if they're just fucking low-level scammers, I'll just get me fucking information off them and move on so I can set this political party up. But if they're not, I fucking need to know. Like I said, if it's Asia after me, Man, I want to fucking know off you cunts fucking why you're fucking doing this. Like, this is serious shit, man. You're fucking thigh-warding a political party. And if that was your fucking intent, you've done a good job. You fucking made sure I got no money, which is no big deal because I'm, I'm always bouncing off zero. But the other thing is you've taken all my information for the starting the political party. And also you've got some potential incriminating fucking stuff on me which I wiped out because I said hey I put the three grand in there you can't fucking bring that up fucking I've been honest about it and that's what I, I want a fucking honest transparent party and if that's a fucking threat to you fucking you gotta fucking let me know because it's not on man you can't be fucking putting your money time and resources into fucking stopping someone who's legally trying to help Australia you should be doing it putting it all into you should be putting it into people who are legally trying to harm Australia so what's the fucking story cunts first of all I want to find out who these people are using fucking my fans and fuck man if people are writing and going want want help this is what I want to help on who the fuck are they and then we'll sort it out, and then if we find out that they fucking do work for ASIO, and these cunts are not disciplining these people, or even worse, they're fucking working as part of a bigger sting on me, ASIO, I just want to fucking say this to you, fucking you guys back off, otherwise, 
I'm going to put Kevin onto you.